Halloween time. Time to put the candle in the jack-o'-lantern. Hey, wait a second. There's something in my jack-o'-lantern. What is it? It looks like... It's the Pantex Slate. Holy great pumpkin, Linus. What's going on, everybody? Happy Halloween from your friends at Phone Dog. It's the Pantex Slate. Our friends at Pantex sent this to us just in time to uh, take it out of the jack-o'-lantern. So happy Halloween. Let's check out this new messaging phone from AT&T and Pantex. All right, so here you go. Pantex Slate, one of AT&T's four new messaging phones. This is the third one to be released. We've got the uh, Pantex Matrix. We've got the Samsung Propel. We've got the Pantex Slate. And the UT Starcom Quickfire is still coming soon. But here's the Matrix. We'll open it up. What's in the box? Here's your phone. I'm working from home today, so we're doing this one webcam style. Getting the pumpkin ready. Getting the candy ready to give out to the kids when they come by. Scare them with the bald head. There's the uh, charger. And I think that's all you get. Ooh, I got a little pumpkin on the box there. Sorry, Pantech. And yeah, you get the uh, the messaging guide. So you get the phone, I mean the uh, user guide, rather. So you get the phone, you get the charger, and you get the messaging guide. Pantech made no bones about this one in their press release. This is a low-end slider, basic, but it's kind of nice. It's uh, It's got a 1.3 megapixel camera on the back there. It's compact. It's super thin. I believe they said this is like the, the thinnest QWERTY slider available. And now we're booting it up there. But it's got a full QWERTY. It's got a nice kind of soft grip plastic back. And it doesn't have a SIM card. So I'm going to get a SIM card and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so it's a really long, boring story as to why we started this video before Halloween, and now you're seeing it so long after Halloween. But in the meantime, I got a chance to play with the Slate for a while, and I have to say, for what it is, I think it's really, really excellent. It's a low-end uh, messaging phone, and so if you know what you're getting, which is primarily a phone, text messaging, and email device, with a little bit, you know, a few extras thrown in, um, if you know what you're getting and you're you're cool with that, it's pretty awesome. Um, it's got a good keyboard. It's pretty easy to use. It's very very thin, very lightweight. Feels good in the hand. Nice soft grip uh, plastic on the back. You know, pretty no nonsense. It's got a little jog wheel on the side here. That's easy to use. You can use it for volume and for other things. And uh, it works well. You know, it's only edge, but that's enough for your email and your messaging and such. Um, the one thing, and this is not a, a complaint with Pantech, this is a complaint with AT&T, is that there's no support for Gmail. Uh, if you look on AT&T devices, you know, smartphones excluded because you can use the smartphones, you can set them up for anything. But when you go to the pre, pre-configured email providers here, I'll go back to show you again, you've got Yahoo, AOL, AIM, Windows Live, um, AT&T, Yahoo, Bell South, you go to other providers, there's a bunch more. But there's no setup for Gmail, and for that matter, there's no setup for uh, your own POP3 account either. So kind of a drag. Um, you can set up, if you have an AIM account, you can set that up. For what it has, um, it's pretty easy to use. So for the email providers that it does support, setup is very easy. I'm here in my uh, AIM account that I never use. And uh, you know, it's a low end phone, low res display, but it works. It's easy to read, easy to scroll through. Um, again, you know, its edge is fast enough for email, it's easy to type on the keyboard. We'll zoom out here so you can see it. Um, the keyboard is really quite comfortable. And easy to type on, pretty good action. They're kind of chiclet style keys, but they're they're easy, they have good action. Uh, the dialing keys are in a different color, very easy to read. Um, you know, really, it's, it's quite nice for what it is and really slim and pocketable, which is great. And you know, it's not blazing fast 3G, there's no Wi-Fi or anything, but for email, Edge is just fine. 
It's also got a mobile IM client. We'll show you that. And uh, here's the interface. I'll cover up my buddy's name, but here's the interface. Send a message. And you know, it's pretty bare bones. You can see that it just kind of shows me up there. Oh, now I've got a, a message from somebody. I gotta get offline. Oh, look at that though. I'm not gonna tell you who sent this, but isn't that nice? Hey, I love your cell phone reviews. Thanks, man, appreciate it. I appreciate it so much that I'm gonna hide your IM name so you don't get spammed. Anyway, um, but it works fine. Uh, you know, it's got the yellowpages.com app. We'll show you the web here. It's got the MediaNet web, the mobile web, web browser, um, which works fine as long as you stay within the walled garden of MediaNet. If you go out into the big bad world of the uh, internet there, you know, maybe not gonna work so well. But as you can see, there's a link for a, a MySpace mobile account or MySpace mobile app, rather. So you can download that, you can get to your MySpace. It's not even an app, it just goes straight to MySpace mobile. So you can do that, you can log in there, you can also go, let's see what uh, Facebook looks like here. I tried to go to Gmail, I had some issues um, getting into my Gmail account. But you can try to go to Gmail off of the web since the client, the email client doesn't support it. And uh, we'll show you Facebook. So here's the Facebook mobile site. So, you know, you can get around. You can get to what you want to get to. Again, low end, but, uh, you know, not everybody needs a BlackBerry Bowl. Not everybody needs a uh, an Epix or an iPhone or whatever. And uh, this really takes, you know, phone calling one step further with all the messaging. It's got some games on it. You can download games, you can play, you know, we'll show you Ms. Pac-Man. Oh, apparently I'm still signed in on the the uh, AIM there, oops. So you can see I got, a, I got an AIM, well there you go. Um, now you know that AIM works in the background, so you can get new messages while you're doing other things. Oh, got another one. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here's Ms. Pac-Man. I'm going to play left-handed. I'm not a lefty. There you go. The sound's really annoying, but the game works just fine. A little slow, but you can speed that up to hard mode. And, uh, yeah, we're done. So I can view my new IM. Oh, and look, now this person sent me a smiley face too. Awesome. I'm gonna write back. Cause you don't wanna leave people hanging. I just, I don't wanna show this person's IM online in the video unless they want it to be there. So look, I wrote back, I said thanks. And uh, oh, I've got another one from somebody who I am me and said, who's this again? You I am me, man. Why are you asking who this is? Because I'm in your buddy list and uh, I'm in your buddy list, but you don't know who I am. And so now I'm signing out. I'm in your buddy list. You can't remember who I am. And so you send me a message saying, who's this? I'm getting too old for the online world. I don't understand the, uh, the way things work. Anyway, here you go. There's a camera. You can take pictures. You can send your, uh, your mobile messages. So there's a lame picture that I took. And we'll send a uh, mobile message here. You can send it to... Uh, Snapfish, send as an MMS message. So really, you know, th this phone really, uh, if you just want a phone that can do your basic phone calling with uh, a QWERTY keyboard for your text messaging, your mobile IM, 
your email, as long as you're not using Gmail, and your uh, you know, occasional foray onto the Facebook, MySpace, that kind of thing. The Slate's really nice. Very lightweight, very thin, feels good in the hand. The QWERTY keyboard is actually quite nice. It's, you know, it's even, uh, the QWERTY keyboard's a little bit better than some that you see on smartphones. The D-pad's a little bit weird to use because it, it bubbles kind of up towards the middle. You can see that there, it bubbles kind of up towards the middle, so it's a little bit funny. But uh, it's got that jog wheel on the side. Really a nice phone, I think. The Pantex Slate, this is one of AT&T's new mobile messaging phones. And uh, I don't know, this might be, I haven't used the Quickfire yet, but this might be my favorite one so far. Just in terms of, you know, it's designed to do what it's supposed to do. It's not meant to be a smartphone, and it's not for a messaging phone. I've said it a million times in the past 30 seconds, I'll say it again. Small, thin, lightweight, you know, easy to read. Uh, QWERTY keypad works well. What more could you ask for unless you want to go to a high-end, more expensive phone with a data plan and get all the other stuff? No music player on here, I guess, is the one thing that um, you, might, uh, you might wish it had, you know. But uh, other than that, yeah, I'm not seeing the music player. Other than that, from messaging, Slate, check it out. I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, Wednesday night's Phone Dog TV live www.phonedoc.com slash TV. Check it out. See you later.